Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Let me see what this is, check my mic. This is so stupid. Uh, volume, volume's up. Okay. Headset, earphone, a hundred percent. God, man, I'm not trying to use my mic. I'm trying to use my mic with my headset. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if it's gonna work or not but anyway this this is why I, I decided to come online you know why because I'm just starting this new class statistical thinking right St statistical thinking for data science and analytics and I finished my other course in uh, contract law I finished that <laughs> so now it is <sighs> statistics okay so I am I already did the introduction I already sent an email to as many of my professors as I could to introduce myself and give them a little bit of background on me and who I am and what I've done just a sliver um, let's see close my settings This is why I came on um, because I can't focus. Okay, close. Okay, so here we go. A website that I found just today as I'm not following my course is uh, eight tips to measure your online um, effectiveness your eight tips to measure your online training effectiveness right you may have devoted countless hours to fine-tuning your online training strategy and rolling out your new online training courses but it is very it is but is it really serving your performance goals and objectives? One of the many benefits of online training is that it allows you to collect valuable feedback about its virtues and vices before it is too late. In this article, I'll share eight tips on how to measure your online training effectiveness and thus never have doubts about whether uh, whether it is really helping your employees increase their performance or not and this is by Christopher Pappas okay so here we go he also has um, eight best practices to create effective online training tutorials Kurt Patrick's approach to measure the effectiveness of your online training five ways to help you evaluate your online training effectiveness okay so that's definitely one I'd be interested in next okay all right observe on-the-job application of newly acquired knowledge That's a good one. Use scenarios and simulations. Um, use performance goals. Use assessments to gauge 
employees' knowledge and skills, promote social learning, turn employees into instructors, uh, gain insight directly from your employees, take full advantage of learning analytics, calculate ROI. Finally, to measure your online training effectively, effectiveness, you need to measure its ROI. Without checking return of investment, you will never be absolutely sure of your online training course's success. This is my alarm. Okay. Oh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 Listen here's the situation when I got my insurance license I did learn online and then I also went in house um to cover some information as well I got flashcards and I was able to pass the test my first time did I get a job no everybody who called me about an insurance job they wanted me to be a scrub and when I say a scrub that sales thing get you on that wagon wheel of sales for no money a hundred percent commission it puts you at a disadvantage because they don't even tell you about your errors and omission insurance and things like that it's it's really you know and I went to get my insurance license because after my son passed away the people who helped me were the ones who had the insurance license and so I went to an open house one lady wanted to hire me but this Hispanic guy in HR kept on making me drive all the way out to Duval and stuff like that so what I did was I went and got my license and I thought that I would be able to work in the funeral industry nope okay so that wasn't gonna work out so then I thought I know I'll work in the um, the office of the insurance commissioner well if you have an insurance license you have to get rid of it <laughs> in order to work in the office of the insurance commissioner I didn't know that so what was the next thing the next thing was um, try to be an instructor in insurance school that didn't go okay go into underwriting that's a no um, go into human resources benefits define benefit contribution plans and things like that financial products that was a no so when it came time to renewing my insurance license COVID hit so that was that money was funny and um, just was not in the mindset because for a year and a half <sighs> you know what I'm saying so what was the online training e-training beneficial for me yes I, did I get my license yes did I get a job ROI return on investment return of investment did I get a return on investment for taking the insurance course and passing the test first time out the gate absolutely not that money that time that gas the cost of the test the cost of the class I did not recoup not one single cent so was that effective online training no no because the whole goal is for you to recoup your investment your return of investment okay 
it's not just for the heck of it it's not for um, I just want to enrich myself uh, intellectually no no so now I did a business law course and now I'm doing um, statistical thinking which I'm kind of behind the curveball in this. I did do data science with Harvard. And so now this is uh, Columbia. So here I go. Um, <sighs> this is where my head is at as I start this course. As I start this course. So that's why it's disappointing to me that I, ca I was unable to introduce myself to all of my professors at the very beginning of this because, um, you know, you have to be very careful that you build relationships with people, you know. And I must say, the people that I've had relationship with before, even in the insurance industry, the funeral industry, the uh, there's a lot of dodgy things happening. And so that's why I'm hoping that with this, it will enrich my um, opportunities in other arenas. That's all I'm going to say on that. But I got a couple of things working. And so I am <sighs> enriching my own mind as I um, move forward move forward if you have spent a lot of time on some things that have not gave you that ROI return of investment believe me if you're a parent ROI baby return of investment it's a crapshoot right taking an online course you don't know how it's going to end but it's an experience it is a memory it is definitely a talking point you know um, that's it you know how many soldiers get book deals TV shows movies many don't you know but it, it's all right this is the data science for executives series okay so next about the instructors that's that's the deal see I gotten this far and I was like Jesus Christ okay keep it moving so I'm past that part then measuring the success of an online course and then that's when I decided to bring y'all in on it <laughs> okay so 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 um, there is there's a discussion board and um, you know This is, um, I think the success of an online course is to do with how engaged, oh, it should be, has to do with how engaged you can become with the course and also the value the course compared with doing an equivalent course in person at a university or college. And this person started the course six days ago, so I'm just going to how is it going is the course giving you a return for your investment yet question submit oh one thing i love about contract law man it makes everything just ch 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 remove the emotion emotions and just deal with the facts honey 
that's another reason why I love computers that's you know uh, when there's junk in there it slows your computer program or processes down so the cleaner you can keep your computer your hard drive um, get rid of all the excess junk the better your performance is right in a contract when you have everything just so listing out what the expect expectations are talking about the money talking about the adjustments the covenants the oh, it's just it's just fabulous it's just fabulous I love it I love it I love it I love it um, because again we're talking about efficiency productivity you know congratulations you just completed the first section of your course yeah 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 yay if you follow me on social media you will see that uh, this posting so this is going on my LinkedIn and share post yay rise anyway that's that's on um, my um, Jesus that is on I have a, a hoodie that I designed and it's rise anyway you know not bold or anything like that just um, very nice and it's just a gentle reminder keep going baby don't focus on the things that you can't change and is out of your purview. Don't worry about that. I, I was telling somebody just last week or so, a week and a half ago, do what you can do and then rest, let the rest of it go. Let it go. Leave that in God's hands. Just do what you can do. Stay focused. When you need to stay focused, talk to your friends <laughs> I consider y'all my friends y'all support me and uh, by watching my videos and it's like you guys are seeing a new birth this is my new birth this is me doing some things um, that uh, I never thought I could possibly do and y'all get to see it and I get to share it <laughs> so I'm grateful for that if you follow me on my social media you will see my postings and everything and um, I feel pretty good you know oh I feel pretty good this is my new birth you guys and I guess you can call me a, um, a pandemic baby I am a pandemic baby honey my rebirth is during this crazy time and it was so hard y'all it was so hard and on top of that with Trump in office only God knows what that was like being carried <laughs> during the pandemic if you're watching this this is your new birth too we did this we are coming we are being born right now into a whole new existence it's a whole new world honey and this is without a mama and without a daddy this is birth by this era a new we are being born into a brand new era honey those of us who are making it through a lot of folks ain't making it y'all 
a lot of folks ain't making it into this new existence this new world and so many other people they're not going to make it but you and me we're going to make it Psalm 91 we are going to make it okay we are going to go forth we're going to rise anyway we're going to uh make a difference we're going to make a difference that's what pandemic babies do <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do all right let's go talk to y'all later bye if you follow me on my social social media you'll see my um my um congratulations okay and um that I'm getting from Columbia now and you know I'm gonna make Michelle Obama clap for me she make it clap 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 she make it <laughs> oh, no, I'm making a clap I'm making a clap 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 all right and Facebook so um, if you're watching, if you follow the JD Foundation on Facebook, that page, I'm posting it on there as well as um, on my regular page. So if you're a friend of mine on Facebook, you're going to see it there. And let's see. Put it on JD's page yeah 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 post so that is that alrighty so I put it on JD's page and then I'm gonna put it on my regular page and I may do it I'm gonna uh, my poetry page. What is it, Noni? Huh? What is it? What you doing, Noni? What you doing? I don't know what she talking about. So here, and then I'm gonna check my syllabus and see what where I'm supposed to be next. Okay. Oh, 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 I got to download this in for the other people too. So let me do that. Uh, control P. Yay. I got that. Um, they've got recommended reading for me. So I'm going to do that. But here I'm going to print this. Um, I have my reading list from Columbia so this is going into Columbia University data science okay okay and then um, control P and I'm gonna say that as a PDF Portrait, current page, fit to page. Okay, no, 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 no. I swear to God. Um, let's see, progress. Up. Oh, keep going. So I've got. Um, reading list that's where I'm at okay you guys so I've got to do the reading and let me tell you something I'm the way I do it okay have some more tip. okay so this is a very short history of data science okay and for me for data science I started out with uh, computer math and I learned um, binary 
binary math where everything is just zeros and ones everything means zeros and ones and then um, hexadecimal okay so that's c computer math I'm gonna see if that has anything to do with data science um, so there's it there is a government report and then the Forbes a very short history of data science so I'm gonna read that and I will talk to y'all later if you are also um, in the data science school for Columbia please get in touch with me let's be friends <laughs> I will talk to y'all later okay bye 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 bye